Speaking of okay. live. Speaking of you, live, I, yes. have a, I got a question for you. Uh-huh. We stumbled, we somehow stumbled across the, the revisited a topic today that uh, is an interesting one given the, the industry insider work that we do. And that is to follow up the idea that everything is a work. And then what that does to you as as a person. So for you, uh, is everything a work? Not everything, but okay. there's another part to what you're we're going to talk about. So, is could you give an example of something that you think isn't a work? Well, you got to pay bills, so the that part of that part of life is. Certainly not a work. Now, the businesses may be working you that you have services through, whether it be electricity or gas prices or things like that. You're getting worked, but the act of actually paying is a shoot. You're you're paying those bills. Um, I don't I like to joke and say, you know, it's all a work. And you and I joke about the NFL and booking and all that. I don't think it's all actually a work i question a lot of the, the up and up i don't and i question a lot of the stuff i see the thing that we went down a discussion on with was that not necessarily that everything is a work the problem is <laughs> once you've invested so much time in pro wrestling and then once you are involved in wrestling and you're an outlaw mud show guy like me and then a podcasting extraordinaire you know industry expert and podcasted expert like myself Chris Zaha you'll love that one too um the problem is and, and just let me go on for a second here's I told you this when I first started wrestling many years ago I had one main person explain to me and tell me the NFL is a work college football on the upper levels is a work it's all a work brother and, I, and like I told you earlier, I said, it starts off, you're in a phase of denial. You're like, no, no way. You can't take that from me. That's sports, you know. The NBA, the NFL, it's not a work. MLB, no, no way. That's not a work. And then the old timers keep digging in on you and digging in on you. And you stay around the business for a little while. And you work some more outlaw mud shows. And you meet some more old timers. And then you find out that, a legend like Skandar Akbar even thought it was a work. And he taught his people, yeah, it's all a work. They booked this guy. They booked this guy. They booked this team. They booked that team. They set it up all before the season. So, so, then so, much, you start... so much so to the point that you and I had a conversation and some level of seriousness and some level of jest, and we never really get too upset about where we're at on that continuum are they going to put the strap on Burrow, or are they going to are they going to ride with this? We're going to try to make the town in L.A. Is that correct? Yes. And what happens on that? I was like I was saying the second phase of the process is then you then you start having doubt. Like you you're in complete denial at first, and then you're like, wait, I don't know. Like I'm starting to see too much funny business and. This doesn't quite line up, whether it's life or sports or, you know, wars or, you know, politics. I don't want to go down that route, but I'm just saying you start going, it's a, what the hell? But if everything hell? is a work, that's part of everything. Yeah. So then you start questioning things. And, 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 is the, and to be fair, that's some of the more important stuff in the world. So we're not going to yeah. talk about it, but it's there. And then you get to the third phase, which is. Not that you think everything's a work, because I think people have misquoted us because we joke and say, it's all a work, brother. We like to have fun. You know, it's a podcast. We're just sitting there bullshitting with with each other and busting balls. But then you get to the third phase of, man, I don't think everything's a work, but I question everything I see and read and watch. Like, I don't believe anything now, it may be true, it may not be true, but I believe nothing. And you become what you and I call, it's like we're corrupted. We, we're not corrupt human beings, but our mindset of what we see, we refuse to believe anything we see on the surface, and we question every bit of it. How many ribs have I pulled on you in, over the years? 
I mean, you've tried to pull a lot, and I just, just, I just don't. Like, no. And see, that's part of what I'm talking about. Is like you're like, I'll tell him something. He's like, you're ribbing me. No, I'm being serious. No, I don't believe you, bro. I'm being serious. When's the last time I ribbed you? I don't know. But this he gets mad. Weird. He gets mad at me sometimes. Doc will get mad because he's like, dude, I'm not joking. I'm, I'm trying to be serious here. And I'm like, bro, go talk to somebody else. Go do that with somebody else. Somebody who ain't hip to the game. Ah, you ain't pulling one on me. Next. And I'm not, and I'm legit <laughs> trying to convey a piece of information <laughs> over, across yeah. that, that's for real. But I, man, it's corrupt. I'm corrupted by it. It's like it messes with my mind. Everything does. <laughs> it's sad. It really is. But I can admit to it. Like I, I have this self realization of this nonsense over the years has corrupted me. It's like corrupted my mind. I don't believe anything I see anymore. So, is there a fourth stage to this? I think I think the fourth stage is actually something I don't think I'll ever get to. I think the fourth stage is you actually do believe everything's a work and you are completely gone mentally as a person. I think it can take over your life and you really can become you can come crazy. You can become crazy. I think as long as you stop at just doubting things, you're OK. But the minute you really, truly believe everything's a work, you're 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 past like normal human being and you you're you need to be you need to go to rehab because okay, so that's that's true that i mean you start to put tinfoil on your head and you that's know. right right and we know people like that and that's where it gets like okay dude you're off you you're something's wrong with you okay so the last piece of this though and and i know this is something that that your old timers used to tell you in trying to teach you get you out of stage zero to stage one two and three what part does money play in all of this oh so that's the selling point of it all it's like if money's involved it's a work that's what they always say or some phrase similar to that like if there's money involved it's a work the more so money that, involved that's it, but the that's more an of a important work. concept because i think we touch on this a lot in a joking fashion about football it's not that Roger Goodell necessarily always wants the Patriots to win. Right. It's the, it's the money. It's the betting line. I just have trouble believing, you know, we talked about it a million times. I don't think he booked the Patriots to beat the Falcons in that Super Bowl, but there was way too many shenanigans that led to 28 to three evaporating. You'll never convince me that the first drive where they called all those pass interferences was on the up and up. That's and what I'm was, saying. And it wasn't to change the outcome. It was to get it closer so people didn't tune out and they miss all that ad revenue. That That's, yes. So, like, I so think money's people involved, that. So it becomes a work, but not like most people think it's a work. Yeah. And again, some people look at me and go, oh, that's tinfoil hat. Like, I we, got friends remember, who... Remember when we told my boss that? Oh, man, he looked at us like... Like, he, he kind of chuckled like, are you two... And we didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we, didn't, we didn't tie it into wrestling. But I know, like, it, it really would have messed me up. But the fact that you were agreeing with me, like, he couldn't really look at me like I was crazy. But he was looking at us like we were crazy. I'm kind of surprised we didn't get drug tested that day. <laughs> He remembered a face. He, Booker man was like, he, he, I wish, you, I, wish I had the camera on. We were ribbing him. He was like, are y'all serious? Yeah, well, come on. And then he yeah, realized, he th- <laughs> we weren't laughing. And he was like, oh, come on. You guys don't believe that, do you? Right, right. Because <laughs> once you believe something like that's a work and you're willing to open your eyes, it opens you up to a whole lot of other things that are a work. That, yes. And that's, that's the, and shit, if they can work that, why couldn't they work this? But but you and I know people who, um, one person in particular I'm thinking of who, like, I think he's gone. I think he's one of the people who are gone. Like, just he's out there when it comes to everything's a work. And, I mean, I'll tell you offline if you don't think, if you don't know who I'm talking about. But he's gone. Um, not a bad person, but just gone. Cause you can't convince him otherwise. Now for me, I stop at the, 
where I just doubt what I see. It's not that I don't believe it. I just quite, I don't even say doubt. I question everything I see. It's not that I don't think what I'm seeing is real or listening to is real or watching is real. I just have a, an instinct in me that goes, wait, hold on a second. And it's a little bit different than critical thinking because critical thinking is a good skill to have. You know, you shouldn't believe everything you hear or read, right? This is a step beyond that to look for the angle. I want to know that's how the right. magician's pulling off this trick. Yeah, that's that. That's it. That's it too. You question it and go, okay, what's this person's angle? And, and, that, and I just hate to say and, it. It corrupts and, you. <laughs> and you're dealing with an unsuspecting <laughs> public that doesn't want to believe that the world is set up that way. It's it's <laughs> it's it hurts people's feelings, man. I remember it does. I, it hurts your feet. I and in like the way I tied this up was so I was telling Doc and I were reminiscing about the first time that I started t- talking to him about football potentially being a work. Again, I'm not saying it's a work, but potentially being a work. And I remember distinctly him sitting in my office looking at me like, "Are you freaking stupid?" Like he's giving me this look. And then, like as the months and years go by. He starts like seeing things that make him question and go, wait, hold on. Was that really on the up and up? And here's what it's like. It's like looking at a, it's like some of those Rorschach, Rorschach pictures. And if you just flip at 10 degrees, you go like, oh shit, I see it now. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't see the butterfly when you had it this way. But when you tilt that just ever so slightly, it's like, oh shit, this thing is clear now. I'm telling you. And and the other part about it is I am in I am in no way a conspiracy theorist. Like I don't believe it. I, I wish Bigfoot was real. That'd be awesome, man. I'd be like, dude, that's a fucking awesome Bigfoot's real. But I don't believe it. The earth's not flat. And why? Because <laughs> we said this before, there ain't no money in the earth being flat. That's why it's 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 not a work. There ain't no money in it. <laughs> If the earth was flat, we'd have charters out to the end of the earth where you could get on a boat and somebody could make some money off this shit. <laughs> That's so true. I don't believe I don't believe that we're alone in the universe. But I don't believe that we're lizard people or whatever, or, you know, or whatever. So it's not that you believe it's it's not that I believe anything's possible. It's what's the ink? Where's the money? Yeah. Who who benefits? Who profits? That's it. Follow the money, man. Follow, Follow the, the money. money. Does it have money in it? Yeah. Then it's a work. Brother, <laughs> brother, if money involved, it's a work. <laughs> you know how many times I heard that at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. on a highway coming back from a show? All the time. Brother, let me tell you how they booked this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody knows it was that Joe Montana was throwing the ball, that ball away, and Dwight Clark snatched it out of the air. So this is right. Yep. Okay, uh, Doc. Anything else? Because we did some wrestling. The only other, the last thing is we, before we segue into the wrestling portion of the show, is and everybody knows this. It's a work when it happens to everybody else in football, but it's a shoot when it happens to you. I agree with that mostly, except for the the no call. The pass interference no call in the in that NFC Championship game. I agree. Every it, it's it's a work and it's a shoot unless it happens to you. But that that was one hundred percent work. You'll never convince me otherwise. <laughs> I don't know people think I'm crazy, but it is what it is. But whatever. That's neither here Speaking nor. Speaking of being crazy, let's talk about some wrestling like it's real. <laughs> 